Hello, how are you? I am Christina Lockett, host of A Message of Hope radio show. I am also the author of Love Lost My Story, A Message of Hope, which this book is about my personal testimony of some unexpected trials and tribulations um, related to divorce and infidelity. And But I also share A Message of Hope. You can make it. You can survive. I'm um, also my story healing journal. It starts with me. You have to start writing, allowing a release to take place so that healing can take place and you can really move forward in the things of God. My story healing journal, it starts with me and my new book release. I'm so grateful that God allowed me to write permission to pray a message of hope, which this book is the beginning of a series of a message of hope books. I'm actually working on the fourth one. So you definitely have to stay tuned to that. Um, I also preach and minister the word of God. And next weekend, May 1st, I will be in Fairfield, Texas, celebrating and honoring my, my brother, who is a pastor. His name is Pastor Conrell Lockett the Third, And you can find him on social media. And of course, find me on social media. And my website is www.christinalockett.com. So I really didn't start this video to promote um, my books or anything like that. What I wanted to discuss is my actual radio show. A Message of Hope airs live every Tuesday on Survival Radio Christian Network. And I rebroadcast on RSM, Christian Internet Radio, and WVOD Radio. This past Tuesday, I had Matreya on the show. She is a former contestant on Sunday Best. She is a musician um, with a degree. She is very talented singer and musician. And I also had on the show um, Sean Ubley, a, a great man of God with a powerful testimony. And both of them just have some great testimonies and a lot of people were able to relate. With that show, every show I get inboxes, text messages. But for some reason, with this past show, just last Tuesday, this show, oh my God, so many emails, so many text messages, I couldn't keep up. People were able to really connect with their personal testimonies, um, talking about drugs, abuse, homosexuality, uh, forgiveness, um, and just moving forward in the things that God has called them to do and called us to do. Purpose, you know, I had a co-host, um, James L. Patterson of the James L. Patterson Morning Show. He's actually the featured co-host every second, uh, third Tuesday, I'm sorry, every third Tuesday, he'll be on the show. I'm saying all that to say that God has provided me with a platform that I can share testimonies, personal stories, inspirational authors, speakers, uh, artists. He has provided a platform where I can share their message, share their testimony and provide hope. And God has really been allowing me to spread the hope and I get the feedback to let me know and to confirm that people are receiving it. They're getting it. They're inspired. They feel hopeful. And I wanted to, I want to continue to spread that hope. I did have a television show. Um, it didn't last long. Um, but God has now opened the door where we can go back into television and not only um, have the television show message of hope, but there are more things that I can do. I won't go into details on the vision and the dream, but it will be a blessing to the body of Christ, to the kingdom. And so the main thing is I need help. I can't do it by myself. And so I started a GoFundMe account and the amount is actually very small. The amount is $500. And so far we've raised $75. So thank you to those who have sold thus far. I believe that you reap what you sow. Um, one thing that I do is I name my seeds. Every seed that I sow, I give it a name, whether it's a seed for financial restoration, a seed for something in particular, for a new job, you know, um, something that I'm praying and asking God for. Because when a farmer goes out and farm, okay, he plants seeds of cucumbers. He's going out, he's looking for cucumbers. He's not going to go out looking for watermelon, knowing he didn't sow a watermelon seed. So I believe in naming my seeds. I believe in praying over my seeds. So when you sow a seed into a message of hope, into what God is doing with the message of hope and this platform, you're not only sowing a seed into a message of hope, but you're sowing a seed into yourself. Because I pray 
I ask God daily to bless those that bless me and bless a message of hope because it's not about me. It's about the hope that's being spread and it's global. God has blessed a message of hope. Amen. In such a way that we have people from London, people from Africa, all different parts of Africa. Um, we even have a friend in, in India. They listen to the radio broadcast. Okay. And so we're enlarging the territory of the radio bar show, radio broadcast and going into television. This is a media ministry, you know. And so I'm asking you to just take a moment, go to the GoFundMe page, GoFundMe page, a message of hope and sow a seed. You know, on social media, I, I believe if I add it all together, it's like 10,000 plus. I'm not sure. It's, it's probably more than that. Um. But with that being said, we can raise five hundred dollars. If one person, every person gives a, a dollar, that's over ten thousand. So I'm not even asking for that amount. Amen. It's a very small amount, but I believe we could do great, big, and mighty things with that small amount. And so if you go to the GoFundMe page, a message of hope, and I will post links. I actually have a link on my website as well at www.christinalocket.com, and I have the links posted. On all my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, you can find it there. Um, but I go into details as to what I will use that money for. It's actually for me to take some classes, media classes, so I can actually learn. Look at what God is doing. Uh, I do know how to engineer a radio show, but God is now going to teach me how to actually use the camera, use the editing software, so that I can record television shows. And again, this platform is not for Christina Lockett. This platform is for you. This platform is for people that have a great testimony that's powerful, that can change lives. This platform is for artists that are singing God's music. This platform is for authors who are who are writing books that are changing lives. This platform is for others that that screenwriter that's ready to uh, write a play and he needs a platform to share it and promote it or even air the play. You know, I don't know what God is getting ready to do, but I know he's getting ready to do some great things. So again, I'm just asking, take a moment, sow a seed into a message of hope so that we can continue to take this message global. Thank you so much for your support. And by faith, I thank you in advance for your seed. And don't forget to name that seed and watch God move on your behalf. God bless you. Don't forget, we'll be in Fairfield, Texas, next Sunday, May 1st, celebrating Pastor Conrail J. Lockett III for his pastor appreciation. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or go to my website at www.christinalockett.com.